As a hot air balloon in the shape of a sphere ascends, the size of the balloon changes due to temperature and air pressure. A certain balloon's volume has an average rate of 5,000 cubic feet per hour. Which of the following is closest to the average rate of the change in cubic meters per minute? So it starts off sounding like we're in a physics class, but it does turn into just a basic unit conversion problem. With these, you always start with your initial rate. So we'll do 5,000 feet cubed divided by one hour. And all we have to do is we're kind of treating this like one big fraction. And diagonally, we want identical units so they cancel out. And then vertically, we want uh, numbers that are the same. And we'll kind of go through an example here. So diagonally, I do one hour because since this is a fraction, hours will divide by hours and it'll cancel out. And then vertically, what's equivalent to one hour that we want, and that's gonna be 60 minutes. So already, just with one step, I've turned this from per hour to per minutes. And of course, to calculate my new rate, I would do 5,000 divided by 60, because this is just one big fraction. But now the kind of harder part, we got to do the feet into meters. So again, diagonally, our units, we want feet, but specifically we want 3.28 feet because that's going to get us one meter. So I would put 3.28 feet diagonally because they'll cancel out. And then I put one meter up above. The problem is with this, we have feet cubed. So feet cubed is feet times feet times feet. So to cancel out with that, we copy them. So I have to do another one. 3.28 feet is going to be another one meter. And then finally, another 3.28 feet is going to be another one meter. Now let's make sure all our units match up in the numerator. I have feet times feet times feet in the denominator. I have feet times feet times feet. That cancels out. Now in my numerator, I have meters times meters times meters. So when I calculate this, I'm going to get meters cubed per minute. So we just want to do the numerator is easy. That's just going to be 5,000. And then I'm going to divide by 60 and I'm going to divide by 3.28 three times. And our final answer I'm looking at here is 2.36 or C.